Hello and welcome back. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to paint the steps here using the get children method. So that all worked fine, but now I'm going to go and make some changes to my model, to my left staircase model. So instead of having five parts here inside my left staircase model, I'm going to group some of the parts. So I'm going to pick the first three steps and I'm going to group them into a different model. That's not the one. Okay, so these are the first three steps. I'm going to group them into a model and I'll call it first three. Okay. And now if we play using the same script that we used using the get children method. Let's see if it can still work. So there it goes. It painted the first and the second steps. Basically, it painted the last two steps, but the three that we group into the model did not get painted. And if you open up your output window, you're going to see that there is an error message in there. Brick color is not a valid member of model. So now let's go to our script and take a look. We're going to go to our service script service and open up the script. So in our script we have declared a variable left staircase to represent to reference to our left staircase model and we use the get children method to get all the children of that model and we put them into the the, the variable steps. So steps is an array that contains all the, uh, the children of left staircase. In this case, in our previous case, um, where before we grouped them into this group, we had five different elements in our steps variable, in our array steps. Um, now, after we group them in, I expect we only have three elements and two of the elements are going to contain these two parts and the third element is going to contain a model and in this case the model is giving us an error because if you click on the model and you go to the properties window the model does not have the brick color property and that's why when you come down here and you try and change the brick color of that model you're getting the error message. So to get that error corrected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and instead of just go and change the brick color of the part, I'm going to check first to see if if step and I'm going to do colon and I'm going to check to see if it is a part. So I only want to change the brick color if my step here is a part. So remember step here is when you use the i pairs for in i pairs loop and go through this array it's it's gonna iterate through the array and for each element it's gonna return the value of the element into this variable step. So step again it's gonna be these children of the left staircase so it could be a part right or it could be a model so I'm checking only if step is a part I'm gonna change the brick color otherwise I'm not gonna do anything or you know what I can do otherwise I can say else and my then here is kind of not in the right place so let me move it so if step is a part then right we gotta do this we're gonna change the brick color weight and else oh that looks much better before I, I was confused like everything is crooked but remember you can always go up here and do format format document 
and everything would be good. See, that, that's even better. All right, so now, now let's read this again. So if step is a part, then we're gonna change the brick color, then we're gonna wait for one second. Else, I'm just gonna print got a model. Okay, so that should fix that error that we got earlier. Let's play and take a look. So here we're gonna wait for our parts to change. In the meantime, I'm gonna open up my output window and there it goes, one, two, and then we got a model. So, so as you can see, our array, our array steps here has three elements. Two of those elements are the parts. So that's why the two parts, the top two parts got changed, the color got changed. And the third element of that array is a, is a model. And that's why it, it didn't do this part of the if statement. And it went and it printed, we got a model. Actually, I should have said that we got something that is not a part. It's not necessarily a model. It's just not a part. Anyway, we know it's a model because we, we see there's only three things in, inside our left staircase. All right, so we fixed that error. We did not see an error in our output window anymore, so there's no more error. But the problem here is, it's still not painting these three steps here. So to fix that, it's very easy. Instead of using get children, which, which would only give you the direct children of this part of the left staircase, you use get descendants and get descendants would give you uh, all the children of this part plus all the, the, their children. So it's going to give you all the, the kids and grandkids and great grandkids and great great grandkids. So you get the idea. It gives you everything, right? Like the whole family tree. So I'm going to change get children to get descendants. And now it should work. Let's take a look. All right, and we're gonna wait for a, a few seconds. And there it goes, one, two, three. Oh, that looks good. Five, all of it. And here I got one message that says, got a model. So basically, let me go back to the strip. Basically, get descendants give you everything. So in your array steps here, you're gonna have these three objects, right? So you got part, part, and you got the model. So that's the third one. And then you also have this part, this part, and this part. So actually you have six different items in this array, six, six different elements where five of them are parts and the sixth one is the model. So the five parts color got changed and we got uh, one message that says got a model. So whenever you're looking to change the brick color of a, uh, all the parts inside a model, and if you're not sure that all the parts are parts, like you could have other things inside that model, it's best to always check to see if your part is a part to avoid getting the error messages. And also, if you want to change the colors of all the, the, the children and the grandkids and the, the great grandkids, then it's better to use get descendants as opposed to get children. So that's our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in the next tutorial. And if you are looking for some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, I would recommend going to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel, click on the playlist 
and go to our Pricey P Roblox Extreme Short Series. In this series, you find that the lessons are taught at a quicker pace. So it's probably not the best for new beginners, but for beginners with some experience in building like yourself, it's probably perfect for you. So give it a try, check it out, and until next time, happy coding.